Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, today is January 2nd, 2017, or 2018, excuse me. <laughs> Gotta get used to saying 2018. Uh, it is, actually it's funny because it's warmer outside today. I think it got up to about 14, 15 degrees and it actually felt nicer. So that's kind of crazy. I think tomorrow they said it's going to be like 28 and... Uh, sunny tomorrow and then it goes back to being complete crap after that again I think our high for Friday like I said is one uh, with minus num you know negative six or seven or something like that it's just gonna be I know that uh, like Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday is supposed to be just miserable so anyway um, first things first got a package in the mail and this is from John up in Canada and he has sent the replacement flag for Canada. So thank you very much, John, for that. That's a good sized flag. I think that's bigger than the other one that I had, to be honest with you. And uh, so that will go up in the spring. And uh, that's awesome that you sent that. I appreciate that. So now I can fly your guys flag again which I like flying the Canadian flag because you know like I said we're right there next to each other so especially me being in New York I've partied many times up in Canada uh, caught a lot of Yankee games up at uh, the stadium up in Toronto uh, I used to take my my son Josh and I used to go up there quite a bit and uh, that was we used to have a lot of fun it would I, we did that when he was little and uh, we had a really good time doing that. We did it like three or four years in a row. And uh, Toronto's a beautiful city. A very, very beautiful city. And I've partied quite a few times in Niagara Falls, and we won't get into all that. But uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun area as well. Anyhow, so it's, uh, like I said, it's um, definitely, hold on a sec, that pump's on. I turn the water on in the sink for the bathroom for the cat, so that's why the pump's kicking on. But anyway, um, very, very cold still, I mean, like I said, but with a, it was warmer today, uh, somewhat cloudy, you know, now it's sunny out right now, of course, because now it's almost time for the sun to go down. But the days are getting longer, which is awesome. And uh, so on a cold day like today, um, and, and with the way the weather's going to be the rest of the week, this is what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about doing an inventory on your things, okay? Uh, going through your food preps, going through your other supplies that you have, and doing a really good inventory on those things and seeing where you're at. I think that it's really important to do, uh, you know, especially like with the canned goods, any kind of uh, tomato-based cans that you have, it's a lot more acidity. And the cans, they don't hold up as well. They really, truly don't. Uh, we, I had a bunch of... Uh, before we had moved up here, I had a bunch of canned stuff that uh, was like tomato paste and uh, tomato, you know, based things. And uh, so I had gone through and, and I had to really, literally throw out most of them because they had gone bad. The cans had swollen um, in, in the whole nine yards. So going through your stuff, seeing what you have, uh, don't worry about the best by date. The best by date is basically just a recommendation. Actually, I went too far there. Okay. The best by date is a recommendation of when you should use it by after that date it starts to lose its nutritional value. That's the only difference with uh, something that you would have with uh, the best by date. So, but other than that, if, you're, if the can is not swollen um, or, you know, like I said, if you, if you ever open up a can and it doesn't smell right, don't eat it. I mean, that's kind of really the rule of thumb. Uh, you can look at something and say, yeah, you know what, that's not good. I'm not going to eat that. So those are things you want to watch out for. Like I said, if a can is swollen, never eat anything out of that can. Just get rid of it. That's real, real important because it's, it's not good anymore, okay? And uh, But I've eaten things. Um, can't... Oh, oh, let's hold on a second, guys. water's ready. Heather's going to be having hot chocolate and I'm going to be having tea. So I uh, I'll take that off. It's not going to go bad. It was freaking boiling so it'll stay hot for quite a while. But anyway, um, 
you know, I've eaten things two, three years after the, uh, you know, Best Buy date, and they're absolutely fine, no problems whatsoever as far as can good, cans could go. You can go a lot longer than that as well. Uh, pouches of stuff, I actually ate a pouch of tuna fish that was six years past the exp Best Buy date, not expiration, but Best Buy date, and it was still okay. I mean, it wasn't, after six years, it was kind of like, eh, but I ate it anyway, and I was fine. I didn't get sick or anything, so, but, um, it, uh, like I said, it starts losing all its nutritional value at that point. And Miss Soxie's over here wanting attention, so I have to give her her love. But uh, anyway, doing an inventory, going through your stuff, seeing what you have, seeing what you might want to get rid of, seeing where you're weak on stuff, too, is really, really good to do, too. I mean, like, um, having, and I've talked about this with food storage before, having a variety of things with food storage is really important. Uh, one of the things you definitely should have is long-term food storage as far as freeze-dried foods go, okay? Because that's one thing you don't even have to worry about. 25-year uh, shelf life on the freeze-dried uh, foods, and uh, they're really good to have. They don't take up a lot of space. They don't have a lot of weight to them, uh, you know, so those are really good things to have. And like I said, you don't have to worry about the rotation of those. So, you know, those are really, really nice to have, and obviously... You know, um, I get my stuff through Legacy, and, you know, I definitely recommend Legacy. Like I said, we've done some reviews on their stuff. And Heather and I are going to be doing some more reviews as well with Legacy. I have other things that we have to have to try yet, so we'll definitely be doing that. Are you, do you want him to come? I know. Come on. So, anyhow, um, but, yeah, you know, the link will be down below. If you're interested in getting any Legacy foods, they're really, really nice to have. And uh, like I said, I definitely highly recommend them. It's good stuff. And it's larger proportion size than anything else. But that being said, you need to have a variety of things. You need to have canned goods. You need to have long-term storage like rice and beans. Those are very important to have too. Uh, you know, all there's, there's so many different things to have. But to, to keep an eye on things, know what your shelf lives are of things, that's important as well. And... Uh, you know, having spices and having, uh, you know, different options as far as foods go. You know, mix of canned goods, regular food that you're going to have in your regular rotation that you're going to eat on, a, on an all-the-time basis. And, uh, you know, rotation is very, very important. And, uh, you know, having your oils and your fats and, uh, and those type of things, that's important as well. Hi. How are you? But, uh... Anyway, so that's uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. I definitely want to get your guys' thoughts on that, what you think about doing an inventory on your stuff. Like I said, it's just, I know for myself, I have a tremendous amount of things. And, you know, sometimes you kind of lose sight of where everything is. And, oh, this is Okay, here, we'll go like this. Um, you lose sight of how much stuff that you have. And... If you do an inventory, then you know exactly where everything is. I pretty much know where everything is, but it's just its a matter of organization, going through stuff, knowing what you have, knowing what your medical supplies are. And you're just going to sit right there like that. You are a nut. Um, knowing what your medical supplies are, realizing that maybe you're weak on something as far as your medical supplies that you need to, to work on. Um, you know, guns, ammo. You know, do your inventory on those and see where you're at. If you have a, you know, a bow, make sure you have plenty of arrows. Uh, if you have a crossbow, make sure you got plenty of bolts. You know, pellet guns, they're real nice to have. You do a lot of small game hunting with a pellet gun that's pretty quiet. So those are nice to have. You know, go through all these things, guys. And with the way the weather has been, it's a perfect time to do those type of things to see where you're at, to look at your stuff, and to see where you need to improve, where you're going, okay, I'm pretty good with this, but maybe I need more of that. Those are the things that I'm talking about. You are something else. She is, like I said, I know I've said this in other videos, she is the most loving, gentle-natured cat with human beings. And she is the meanest, nastiest thing with other cats. She is the boss, and she will whack the crap out of all the boys and then they all run away from her like they're scared. I, I don't get it. <laughs> but she is the alpha. 
you have the alpha female, aren't you, Soxy? And she demands her attention. So and there's the pump going off again. Because I got the water running in the sink in the bathroom. I'm, gonna, I'm putting it down. That's enough. Um, so I know a lot of people have talked about concern about freezing pipes. So I wanted to address that issue as well. And uh, we, when we ran our water lines, we dug them down pretty deep. Because of where we are, we wanted to make sure that they were good to go. So the water lines are deep in the ground, which is, this is really good. And then when the only place it's really coming up out of the ground is up here by the house and up into the house, okay? And in that area, I have heat tape wrapped all around that pipe, and it's all insulated really, really well coming up out of there as well anyway. We have not had one issue with any pipes freezing at all, none. Um, and it's been freaking way cold up here, I can tell you. We've had some really cold days. Like I said, the one morning, uh, or the one night when I left for work, it was minus 12. So, you know, it's pretty cold. And uh, no issues whatsoever as far as the pipes freezing. So that's a really good thing. Uh, that's why when you do something like that, your plumbing and, and those type of things, you do it right the first time. You don't have to worry about it coming back later going, oh my God, we should have done this or we should have done that dig those trenches deep and if you want to go back and look at the videos when we put in the storage tank for the water um, you'll see we put those the, the, the ditches where the pipes got ran they're, they're deep they're down there deep and it was done for a reason to make sure that you know they're underneath the frost line so there's not going to be an issue with the pipes so that's uh, that being said that's a good thing and uh, anyway I hope everybody's doing well I hope your week is going well Tell me what you guys think of the fire. We got a crank in here right now. Actually, turn it down a little bit. It's killing me right at the moment. But uh, it's very comfortable in the house. Uh, the wood stove has absolutely been awesome, and uh, we've been doing real well as far as what we've been burning. It had, you know, we're, we're we're way good, I believe, for winter. I mean, we have this month, we have February and probably a good part of March where we're going to have to be burning. So we are really in good shape as far as wood goes. I'm so grateful that I had the extra time to work on extra wood, and uh, that's that was that was good timing. <laughs> Weather-wise, it was perfect for doing wood. It was abs it was cool, but it wasn't too cold. The bugs weren't out, so that was helpful as well. So there was a lot of real positive things with that. So anyway, um, I definitely want your feedback on the video. Tell me what you think. Let me know. You know, as far as your inventories go, where you're at, you know, what what are you looking at, and uh, and and go from there. Okay, so it just again, just another video, just to try to make you think, you know, figure out where exactly you're at, what you want to do. Okay, uh, and that's what we're doing here, guys. Uh, you know, it's try, it's a lot of what I try to do is make you think, uh, keep you focused, and uh, we need to stay focused. You know, uh, we need to help ourselves. We can't rely on anybody else, you know, you really can't. So the more people that we can get that will prep, it's one less person we got to worry about trying to take care of afterwards, okay? And we can't save them all. So there's, that's what you got to think about, too. You can't save everybody. So you're going to have to make some hard choices once a major event happens, okay? So anyway, guys, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. And uh, you'll get there. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're trying to do, you're going to get there. Okay? So anyway, me and Sachs are going to call it a day. I'm going to get this video up for you guys, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Now it's Tuesday. Obviously, now it's most everybody's Monday, because every, most people have Monday off. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. All right? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Thank you.